So hello everyone, my name is Aniket Dole and I am from Pimpri Jinsot College of Engineering, Pune and I currently I am a final year student for Computer Engineering and this is my mango farm in Lakhiwadi, in my village Lakhiwadi from uh, Taluka Indapur and district Pune. So here we can take a look of the whole farm. The farm has around uh, 100 trees in an acre of, uh, in one acre of land. The trees, are, uh, the trees have an age of uh, around 3 to 3.5 years and my project explains about uh, detection of these disease in uh, mango plants using the, the photo of the leaves and using deep learning technology. So my project is about disease detection in mango plants using the photo of the leaves. So a farmer can directly take an image of the leaf and major, there are major diseases which are detected using, uh, the, like using the leaves only. So what, what it does like the image is uh, gone through a deep, uh, deep neural network of a CNN uh, which classifies them as the leaf is healthy or not and so it's like what happens the, the images uh, pass on to the neural network and it takes about various characters like if the leaf has uh, any patterns, any blind spots or any rust or, or any deformation is uh, processing so it, it detects that and then processes and then outputs a prediction about if there is a if the plant is healthy or it is not and so here is a walkthrough of the whole farm So thank you for watching the video, hope you find it interesting. So this is the demo of the project. This is a collab environment where all the uh, all the test data on the left side and right side it is all the code. It runs on a cloud network provided by Google. And so first part is installation of OpenVINO toolkit. It is a toolkit where uh, you developed by Intel where all the models are optimized and the inference, inference, is, uh, inference speed of the model is increased. And here as you can see this is the hackster page, this is the main competition page where I have posted my project. And here all, all the model details, all the code and it's like the graphs of how the inference works using open you know, versus the normal inference. It increases the speed by 72 times. And after installing the open window toolkit uh, below is the it's like download of all the uh, test data and train data. And here I have extracted it, uh, test data. On the left hand side you can see the test data and train data. It is classified into diseased and healthy images. And the, this is the part where all the TensorFlow and Keras uh, libraries are imported. And uh, next is the like pre-processing of all the images. It is converted, um, it's like the images are converted to 180 by 180 pixels and they are separated into batches of 32. And um, next is the um, like creation of the model. This is a simple classification model with containing of a column 2D and max pooling layers. And here, uh, here is the um, like uh, on the Excel page. It is the uh, diagram of whole the, of the model. And next is the training step. It is trained using 15 epochs. And I have, as I have already trained the image and saved it, I will be directly inferencing the model. And after I run this uh, step, it first um, like takes the test data and then converts it into batch sizes of 32. And uh, it then uh, goes on to prediction. Now it is currently predicting and then it will display all the results. It takes around 10 to 15 seconds for this process. And as you can see, these are the diseased images and these are the healthy images. The more the percent of the prediction, the more the output of the disease. It's like more the disease, the images. And as you can see, as I have not shuffled, it is in order. It's like first are the disease and then are the healthy. As on the left hand side, the file is, files are also sorted like that. And next is the yeah, inference with open window. In open window, it converts, it's like it froze's the H5 file, and then it converts the frozen model to, uh, it's like to XML and bin file. It's like the XML contains the model structure, like which models are there and how much size is of the layer, each layer. And bin file contains the weight of that, uh, how much weight of the each layer or each node is. And after running the inference on uh, on open using open window. I have the images um, it's like it is I have also connected using a front end framework known as anvil after I run this framework uh, it also creates a uh, it's like uh, the, here the on the front end is connected back to the collab server here 
after it is started here hit uh, now we can upload uh, an image on the front end suppose we upload a rust image of uh, rust disease uh, of mango it will give prediction as disease and if i upload any healthy images like uh, this it will give healthy prediction and on the back end you can also see means like it receives an image and then again it means like i have run two test it uh, it displays the results here so thank you for watching